So uh, this week's question is, Ngak has refused to sign. So what do we do about his position? Are we happy with Fredericks and Johnson? Um, my opinion is yes. Absolutely. Um, I wouldn't go out and buy. Because I've said on a couple of videos recently, um, and alluded to, I think we've had our best periods when we've had young people come through the team. And, um, you know, I understand what it means to be an amateur. And, uh, you know, what is expected of them to be an amateur, to be out there. Gives them the grit and determination and the real fight for it. Um, so I wouldn't strengthen there. That is not a place I'd strengthen. I'd go with Fredericks and um, Johnson. You know, the boy's been with us. That Johnson's been with us since a young lad. So, you know, hopefully he's got in his blood. I would like to think so. But, you know, people are fickle these days. I would definitely, definitely, definitely uh, bring the lad through. If Fredericks is a bit injured, not up for it, get Johnson in there. How else is he ever going to get experience if you just don't bloody him in and say, come on, son, here you are. You're young, fit, you're energetic, you can go for it. Go on, son, make an hero of yourself. You know, I would. You're having a pot seat and he's in the, in the management and that, isn't he? So, look, that's my opinion. Um, I would use the money wisely and spend it elsewhere. So, um, let's uh, hope we do well Saturday against the uh, Wolves. I hope everybody's all right. Keep smiling. Come on, you guys. Up the hammer. Right. Am I comfortable with the uh, <coughs> current right back situation? Yes and no. Um, I'm completely comfortable with the uh, Ngakia situation. He's gone down, not coming back. Doesn't want to be at the club. Fair play, kid. See you later. Have a good life. Uh, we move on. Uh, we need to. Um, so we've got Johnson and Fredericks now. Fredericks has been, I think, probably one of the most injury-prone players we've had at the club since we signed him. Uh, I know people sitting at Jack Wilshire, but I'm pretty sure Frederick has only played a handful more more games than he has. Um, could be exaggerating there, but uh, he's, a, he's a good enough right back. He's not any more than average for me. Got good pace, but most of that is used to make up for the for letting the wingers get past him in the first place. Johnson is uh, one for the future for me. He's a fantastic. Uh, playing against Man City when he, he did make his debut he's definitely got something about him but he's, he's had his injury problems as well so we've got to be careful about that and for me we, we, we could do with a third right back um, could do with doesn't mean to say we have to make it a priority I think left back's probably more of a priority than right back at the moment um, so you know if you've got any more academy kids that can come through like Ngakia did then I'm all for it uh, going into the season with Fredericks and Johnson were happy, but you know I still think we probably need to, um, you know, think about the future and of this of next season and, and definitely look at a player that could could come in because uh, it's fine saying oh we've got two players who are, are pretty decent at right back, but you know West Ham you need to push on a bit sometimes. You know what has Fredericks done in the last two years? You know what has he what did he do last season that made him you know he, he can't be beaten? on could take his place. Um, you know, but perhaps we need to spend some money on a, on a, on a, on a player who can also play right wing back. So, you know, it's going to be interesting. But for me, I'm happy as I am now with Johnson and Fredericks. But if we were to get and sign someone, then I'm all for it as well. So, yeah, um, be interested to see what happens with Johnson. Um, uh, it's quite, quite interesting that one. Hey everyone, so this week's question is do we need to strengthen our right back position now Ngaki isn't signing for us going forward? The short answer, yes, 100%, but the more confusing, longer answer is I don't actually know if Ngaki is going or not. As you will probably know, uh, Moyes played him in the last 30 minutes of the Palace friendly, and he scored, which I think is great. Uh, but it does pose the question, why are we playing a player that doesn't want to stay with us and wants to leave at the end of the season? I don't understand. Um, the rumour is, is that he is being offered a revised contract um the board are trying to keep him and i think frankly that's a really good idea i think it would not be great for the club if we lost him i think we would regret it but that opinion aside of we should definitely keep him in gakia um if he did choose to go i think we would 100 percent need to strengthen our right back fredericks although he has pace skill wise for me he just doesn't cut it 
um and I, I, I've said that before but he just doesn't I think yeah, he just does he always looks just a bit lost on the pitch I'm just not his biggest fan um as for Johnson obviously the club are very fond of him they've come out showing their loyalty to Johnson um we've seen him in training and he looks really good obviously he hasn't had that much experience and I think that would be the problem I think we would need to definitely strengthen we'd definitely have to get a third in from somewhere um who we get obviously depends if we stay up or we go down at the end of this season I have said before I'm a fully paid up member of the Matty Cash fan club so if we could get him which I don't think we could um I would love to see him come in as our right back um I think he'd be fantastic uh but I, I can't, unfortunately can't see that happening and I've got no real solid answer of off the top of my head of other players but I think we definitely we would definitely need to strengthen it for me Fredericks and Johnson is it's just it's just not it's just not enough um but that said, I really hope Ngakia agrees for a contract and he stays with us because I think we'd do really well to have him, especially since he would walk into the first team very quickly. So I hope he stays. But if he doesn't, we definitely need to be on the lookout for a third right back. I hope everyone is staying well as usual. Um, take care. Hello everybody, so the question for this week is whether Jeremy Ngakia's impending departure means that West Ham should be in the market for a right back this summer as one of their top priorities. I think it really depends on a few key factors. Uh, first and foremost, the club's budget for transfers. I think if they're going to go in the market for a right back and that prevents from upgrading at the positions of left back or centre back, then I really think that Ryan Fredericks and Ben Johnson are more than capable of getting the job done next season. Uh, I feel as if Ben Johnson kind of been forgotten by a lot of people in a way. I mean, he was a higher rated academy prospect than Ngakia. He had uh, quite a good game against Manchester City a couple of years ago. And uh, Sam Inkersall from Football London talked about him as being the breakout star of last year's preseason. I really think if he gets an opportunity in the first team, uh, maybe not to start every game, but between him and Ryan Fredericks, they're more than uh, capable of of holding down that position. I guess the other thing to look at in that sense is whether or not both of their injury histories could affect the squad next season. I think maybe if that is something that you're concerned about, then you do go out and you do go out and uh, sign someone to fill in at that right back, but not fill in someone to take over at that right back position, like a Matty Cash. You know, a lot of people are very fond of him. And then you can slot in Ben Johnson to be your reserve left back or to compete for games at that position because he can play both sides of the pitch. Hey everybody, it's Wally from the American Hammers TV network. And I'm coming to you from sunny and warm and humid New Orleans, Louisiana. And I am gonna talk about the Hammers poll question. Do we need to focus on right back in the transfer window it's a priority and I don't think we do I would answer no on that we currently have a fine right back in Ryan Fredericks and I know a lot of you don't rate Fredericks but um, if you look at him he was our last the last hammer to ever have a 10 out of 10 match and he is also our top overall has our top overall rating for back line, even better than Abana. He's also our top rated tackler this year, even better than Declan Rice. And now you may say his passing is weak. Well, actually, I mean, it could be, but his rating is a 74% in passing. And that is over, look at, uh, Ngakia has, his rating is just over 50%. So. I know you guys rate Ngakia over Fredericks, but I think that's a mistake. And, and we really don't, if, if Ngakia doesn't want to play for us, you know, if his agent's turned his head, you know, he can move on and we'll be just fine with Fredericks starting and uh, backup of Johnson. So I don't think we need to make that a priority in the transfer window. I think more importantly, we need to go after a left back or something. So I'm just going to sit back and enjoy my iced tea on the porch swing here. And you guys can take it easy. Bye-bye. 
Aloha everyone, coming to you from Hawaii. I think right back is not going to be an issue in the upcoming seasons because I think Ngaki is ultimately going to sign with us considering the cat and mouse games we hear from the club and also his agent saying that they're not offering enough wages for Ngakia. But then the club is also saying they're not actually setting a price point on the wages. So it's all hearsay right now. I think he will stay with the club. But the places that we should actually focus on is definitely like left back. Left back. Left back. And an unpopular position that I'm in is keeper. I think Fabianski is doing a great job. I think his time is almost up for Premier League keeper. That's unfortunate. I think he's got a good season, maybe a season and a half left in him. But we need to start investing into a new keeper. You know, we don't want the fiasco of Fabianski getting hurt and then, you know, we end up with a Roberto. And unfortunately, uh, Nathan Trott is, still needs to get his, uh, you know, his legs into actually playing professional football. I say he's got another two or three, maybe even four seasons on loan somewhere else before he actually comes and plays Premier League football. So I think we should actually invest in a keeper in the upcoming years. Anyway, as always, come on you irons. Right, so this week's question is, do we need to prioritize a right back in the transfer window? because Ngakia's refusal to sign an extension on his current deal and seemingly heading towards the door. Now, if he goes, I think we do need to look for a right back. However, you know, Fredericks and Johnson are good enough. Johnson is able to play right back, played left back against Man City, you know, one of the best teams in the world. And I don't think he looked really out of place. So... And he's very promising. However, I would say that we do it. But I think the real matter here, you know, for this question is I don't, bl I don't blame him for refusing to sign an extension on his current deal based on his wages. At the end of the day, yes, you could argue that West Ham gave him that chance to break into first team football, you know, and play Premier League football. But when you look at for what he's asking for, like I said, you can listen to all, all the sources in the world, you know, and as far as I'm concerned, the only ones that I listen to is X because he pretty much gets it right, bang on the money every time. And at the end of the day, all this stuff is genuine. You know, some of the, some of the signings, you know, when we've been linked in the past, it might not come through, but that's not, you know what I mean? Like, he, he, he's, uh, he's in the know is bang on the money. And it's not 20 grand a week the lad's asking for. He's asking for close to 10. You know, and when you look at the promise of him, Premier League football, uh, Premier League football, a squad player. You get a squad player now who you want to go out and sign. You've got to pay, you've got to pay 40, 50 grand a week. You know, why not give him 10? You know, it, it astounds me that where the academy of football and our owners are refusing to give him 10 grand a week, but yet they're prepared to extend... And are in talks to extend Zabaleta's 80 grand a week deal for another two months. 640 grand. You work it out, 10 grand a week is 520 grand. So you could pay one lad's salary for a full year or pay an aging fullback who hasn't got the legs now in the Premier League. Don't get me wrong, he's fantastic. So he's a hard worker, you know, and in my opinion, in his prime, he's the best right back to play in the Premier League. But He's, he's passed it in two months you could uh, his wages for two months you could pay Ngakias for a year let that just let that sink in for a second and ask yourself that if you were Jeremy Ngakia and the club refused to give you a deal that was close to 10 grand a week refused to give it you 
and then said, well, actually, do you know what? We might need your help for a little bit. Would you do that? I'm sorry, do you know what I mean? Like, you're born and bred, do you know what I mean? Unless you're born and bred West Ham. Do you know what I mean? You, you, you tell them to fuck off. It, pardon my French, but it, it, it's a fact. You know, you, you can't... You cannot expect him to go, do you know what? Yeah, I'll honour this, you know. Do you know what? The club's been really, really good to me when they're treating him like a mug. You go out, you, you a squad player, you're going to be paying £10 million for if you want a decent squad player, that is... If you want someone pushing for the first team, you're looking at 20, 25 mil. And you've got someone there that's ready-made. Him and Johnson can both do it. And we're refusing to give them wages. So, the bigger, like I said, the bigger issue for me here is it's not about prioritising the right-back and stuff like that. I think we should be talking about how badly the board are messed up with the handling of this. It's the typical David and Karen Brady. I'm just absolutely fed up of them absolutely fed up and sick to the death they embarrass our football club absolutely embarrass us with this you know and they go public with it as well to try and belittle the player absolutely disgusting I've always been it I've always said it now do you know what I mean? well, I've said it for a long time um, I thank them for coming in when, coming into the club when they did and saving us from administration but it's been years and it since it's moved to the London Stadium for me I've been bored out so GSB out um, so yeah they're my thoughts sorry it's not quite bang on the subject that you want you know and names and stuff like that of who you would go for to me I just think the bigger issue was the treatment of Ngaki in my opinion is a disgrace and I don't blame that lad one bit for wanting to leave Till next week, come on you irons. For West Ham fans everywhere, this is the ultimate football app for you. Never miss a thing with the latest West Ham news, gossip and social stories as they break. Download the free COY Irons app now from the App Store and Google Play. Oh, yeah!